not only are we taking phone calls, faxes, but also we are tapping into our email. Now, for a week or so, we've been getting questions for Def Leppard, and I believe we've got an email question right now. Please uh, watch the screens one more time. And it says, I am really excited about Def Leppard being in the same city as me. So, as I. So I just had to think of a question to ask them. This morning I thought of one. Did you guys ever notice how much Brian Adams' music sounds like yours and how much Brian Adams sings like Joe Elliott? I have always liked Brian Adams, but I'm starting to like him even more because he reminds me of you. I think you are the greatest, especially Rick Allen. <laughs> Who would like to take that one? I'm taller than Brian Adams. <laughs> You are indeed. <laughs> but he does have a mighty big voice. Now, you both have used the same producer, Mutt Lang. Yeah, that's the similarity, and I think that's basically what a lot of people kind of latch on to, you know. It's, um, it's Mutt's sound, and whoever he works with is going to have a, a, similar, a similar sound, you know. It, it's, it's all down to the music. Brian Adams, is a, at heart, is a rocker still, I think. He's, always, you know, he's had a lot of hits recently with ballads, but he's summer of 69 and stuff like that. They're all rockers. We're a rock band. There's going to be a similar thing if you use the same producer. If Brian Adams is a rocker at heart, what are you? Speed, well, met speed metalist? I don't know. <laughs> speed <Okay>. metalist? <laughs> no, you, no, you Closet come from... Pantera bass player or something. You come from... <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Luckily, no. I have um, no idea. <laughs> you come from a, a town that's known for its metal industry, Sheffield. Indeed, Sheffield yeah. in Northern England, mm. but I wouldn't call you speed metalers. No, no. <laughs> I think you're more in the hard rock tradition, no? We are what we are. We don't think about it too much. No, you don't. We let other people get on with it and, you know, you either, yeah, like, I think it. You either like it or you don't, you know. Yeah. We've been around long enough. If they don't know who we are now, then they've been living in a cave. Get it, yeah. <laughs> All right, moving along, we've got a question now that's um, via the phone, hmm, that old institution. It's Colin from Winnipeg. Are you on the line, Colin? Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for calling. And who is your question for, and what is it? Uh, it's for the whole band. Um, on the credits for Adrenalized, you mentioned how it took four years, four years between Pyromania and Hysteria, and then you said that wouldn't happen again, and then it also took three and a half years before Adrenalized. Uh, why did it take so long to release Vault? Well, we, I mean, a year and a half of b both of them gaps has been made up by touring, you know, playing to you guys, <laughs> basically. So, um, yeah, let's not forget we have that. to do that, you know, we, we like touring, it's our favourite thing. And studios are necessary evil, we don't really want to be there, we'd rather just play live like we are tonight. But um, we have to make records, and unfortunately, before you know it, you know, a year and a half's gone by. And um, we also like getting our records right. You know, we're not perfectionists, but we, we do. What? No, 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 we're not. No, we we want it to sound right. You know, we have a, a certain sound in mind, and we, and we kind of don't put it out until we're really happy with it. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just it's a, it has to have the right vibe. Right. The thing about the Vault album, I mean, he says how, why did it take so long to release it? It came out on the what, the twenty third of October. October, yeah. We didn't even decide to do it until July, so it was kind of three months, and that's probably the quickest thing we've Impressed ever Impressed, everyone. <laughs> Actually, yeah. It, it took us 15 Almost. years, and you yeah, think about it. Yeah, it took us 15 it. years, but you know, it kind of only took like a couple of months, really. All right, we've got another question. This one from one of our audience members. What's your name? Uh, Christina. Christina, <laughs> what would you like to ask? I'd just like to know where did you come up with the idea for your latest video, yes. When Love and Hate Collide? Well. Um, we basically got a, a, a lot of scripts sent to us um, from various different directors uh, and we didn't like many of them. In fact, we didn't like any of them. And so we decided that we'd uh, try and get all the two guys that did what we think is some of the best videos we've ever shot, which is like Hysteria and Love Bites. And these two guys, Doug and Jean, um, hadn't worked together for five years, hadn't seen each other for five years, and actually fell out and hated each other for five years. When love and hate collide? And what do you that's want? the apt thing. We, we sent the script to, um, to the both of them and, and, and said, will you guys get back together and do it? And they kissed and made up, and they're good friends again now. They made the first video in five years, and there's three it's different versions of it. Great it's video. So love and hate collided and became yeah. love again. It was a beautiful thing. It was a moment in time. You know, I just have to mention, was that a good answer for your question? Yeah, that was fine. I just have to mention that uh, this, this lady here has come all the way from Newfoundland to see you tonight. Yeah. 
She called us last week and said, if I fly to Toronto, will you put me on the guest list? And uh, we said, yeah, I think so, no problem. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. should join the band, actually. Get her a tambourine. <laughs> it's nearly as far as we've come, I tell you. All right, well, uh, let's uh, do another song right now. This we have one. to. I prefer to talk 